So barn. We can't afford to buy any cows yet. Arborist. Whoa. What? Oh, it's these people here. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Okay, the bell's ringing. Everyone's running. Here they come. Do you know what? I think I know where they're going. What? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Farthest Frontier with me, Biffa. Today, we're making some big changes to our village here. I want to redo this little area here, which with the relocate button that we have on items will help us to really take advantage of the bonuses that a marketplace will give to buildings around the place. So that is what we're going to be doing. And um, also, if we head down here, I popped in a couple more fishing shacks, as you can see. I've sort of, I'm assuming that if they overlap in anyway that is a problem fishing productivity fish count fishing area there's probably something here tools are needed yeah i think we're okay there's nothing wrong with what's going on here and we've got new villagers 77 of them now we've got the housing that we've been using we've also got this here a temporary shelter that can be stocked with food and supplies allowing workers that are far from their residence to work longer before returning home so i was going to pop one of these between these two fishing shacks or so we've got that workplace let's just pop it on this corner here like let's move it in a bit like that there we go and we'll see how that works for us let's just speed the game along a little bit so we're doing okay on the old wood the planks uh the firewood the stone uh, the money is going okay not too many sick people it's the food that i am worried about the most oh Save game. Quick sip of tea. Head on over to BifferPlaysMerch.com for Hugo there, autosave, sip of tea, and Lane Mathematics merchandise. Yeah, so I really want to concentrate on the food. Now, as it goes for people, we've got six laborers, four builders. So, yeah, food stocks are low. We are losing food. So I really want to get these prioritize so let's get those going there we go they're prioritized we'll they'll get to the house when they get there oh uh, don't forget we did take this farm down for a year and what i've also done i think it was this one had a lot of wheat in there and nothing else and at the moment there's not much we can do with the wheat so we're going to wait uh before planting that again we're just sort of storing our wheat and then this over here, of course, we've got our sand pit. So once we get digging up the sand, that will enable us to change uh, how we want this set up. Yeah, so it's the yellow one that we're aiming for. So that's like a balance between all the different crops that we've got in there. So hopefully once we get the sand going, that will help. And we've got these little, these little apiaries are going fantastic. And we're getting honey and wax. Uh, wax, I think, can produce candles for the mines, possibly. Oh man, they are buzzy and noisy. But we can't do anything with that at the moment because I'm pretty sure uh, this needs beer, which it says produced. Items produced in the last year. Well, I looked in the last episode, didn't I, at the brewery, which makes beer. I'm wondering whether this just makes beer anyway. And we'll have to see. Anyway, after a year's gone, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Okay, so let's just take a look at this here. I want to redo this. Uh, area that we've got in here let's just have a quick look yeah so that house goes right up to the end and we've got this little <laughs> I, I i thought this was going to look nicer it's like a small plaza here but i really want to just rebuild this area so what we might just do here is just work on removing some of these so if we go like that and this that will salvage that road yeah Oh, I've done it wrong. Done it wrong. Cancel that. Cancel that. Yeah, that's not what I want to do, is it? I want to just copy this here. So I want, like, these up against there. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. So if we're going to relocate that one. That is going to go, if we turn it around. I want the arrow facing this way. That is going to go up against there. That's good. Then we'll get the path up there. And then we'll start working on some other things. That's the idea anyway. Well, there we go. Fishing villages have been completed, or fishing shacks, I should say. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take its area and move that over. I mean, you can move it over as far as you like, can't you? So we sort of go like that. I'm assuming that's okay. And then this one, we can get in there. And that teeny tiny overlap they've got, I don't think. So fishing productivity, 130%. That's okay. 
That's 130. It seems 130 is normal. This one's got a bonus. It's not actually showing up. I'm pressing all the extra buttons that pops up the information. And for some reason... Oh, there it is. There it is. Extra 50%. Excellent. So that's what we want there. What have we got? Oh, blueberry bush. Yeah, we'll be relocating that to our little stock of bushes that we've got over here. Um, so let's pop that one next to that one. What have we got over here? Nuts. Bur oh, blueberry bush. I saw it. I saw it. We're going to relocate that one. Food stocks are low. Yes. I know. I know. It's fine. We are doing our best. I've got to put a forage around here. Seriously, there's like so much stuff around here. Uh, forager shack. I mean, if we pop one sort of this side over here, then they could just forage this side and that side. There could be two lots of things that they go for. So we've got one forager shack over there. So if I pop that sort of there. Yeah, that's okay. And then what we'll do is we'll change their collective area. And they can switch between all of this area around here, can't they? So that'll be good. How's our temporary shelter doing? Two, one, done. How about that? So that can hold four. Okay. So that can store food and firewood, which we've got absolutely plenty of. So that's all right. That's good. Let's speed things up again. And I'm wondering whether we could start storing things over here. Like having another little area with a market possibly would be helpful. All right, let's start rearranging some of these houses. Yeah, I'll tell you what's confusing me is these extra little rows that we've got. And unfortunately, I can't just delete that one little bit there, which is annoying. So I'm going to have to delete all of that and then put this bit like back into there, which, uh, to be honest, it's like instantly gone in instead of having to be built. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Because then the next road I want is this one over here, which is... Let's have a look. One, two, three, four back. So it's going to be going across here. Is that going to let me do it? If I do that, then we'll know where it's going to go. So then these houses here are going to be these two that are faced outwards. Yeah, thank you for doing that. So then that means this little bit here needs to be removed. Yeah. But then we're going to connect that to there. Yeah, there we go. I mean, I'm probably, you know, I don't need to do this. Oh, blizzard. We're getting cold. But it's just, I feel like it's something I want to do. <laughs> just to make it all look a little bit nicer. I might just, do you know what I might just do? I mean, relocating houses just seems so much easier. But when it's all a bit confusing, I might just delete them and rebuild them all together. Nothing like kicking people out of your homes in the dead of winter. Hopefully, uh, well, I know we've got plenty of other spaces where they can live. But uh, yeah, I felt a bit mean doing that. <laughs> that wasn't what I wanted to do. And now they've got typhoid. Okay, once this one's down, we can start uh, getting things lined up a little bit better. And I think we're going to have to... Food stocks are low. Year nine. Oh, okay. Excellent. We might just have to remove a couple of homes from along here as well. So what do I might do? What if I relocate your home while you've got typhoid? If that sort of does something... I don't know. We shall see. We shall find out. And I'm going to relocate you as well. This is like a big game of Jenga, isn't it? There we go. This is looking better. And now we can pop some more houses along the back there so we can get back up to what we were before. There we go. Oh, we're getting a bit close to the undesirable place, but I think we're going to be okay. Food stock's low. I know! We are working on the food stocks. Please shh about the food stocks. So how much are you actually producing? Storage, six, me 108 fish. So you're doing a lot of the stuff with the fish. I'm wondering whether there is, in the food production, what have we got? A bakery, which we know about that needs wheat and all sorts of here. And we need a heavy tool, which we don't have. Oh no, there was the traders leaving. Oh, did I completely miss a message that said traders? Darn you game, I need to keep an eye on that. Because we need the traders. Yes. Um, so barn. We can't afford to buy any cows yet. Arborist. Harvest fruit trees nearby. We need. Whoa. Whoa. What? Right. Let's see where they're coming from. Uh, all the way up here by the sand pit. And they seem to be. Oh, it's these people here. They are literally attacking 
our sand pit. Um, what we can do, if we come all the way... Actually, if I press Z, it jumps me to here. I can press that. And then there is a way of getting everybody back in. Yeah! Garrison villagers. So if I press that, everyone will hide. Unfortunately, we don't have any soldiers. So I'm not quite sure how this is going to end. Because we've got this tower over here. And we've got this tower over here. So unless they run all the way over here... I'm going to add another person in there. I did not think ahead what I needed to do here. Let's just unpause for a moment. Are they chasing the people or the buildings? They're chasing the people. Right. So if I do that and get my person to run up here, are they going to follow? So this guy here, he's following them. Where are these going? Oh, man. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I want you to run up into here. What does that mean? Missing melee weapons. Oh, okay. <laughs> these are down here chasing these people. We need to get some walls and things like this person on the cart. Are you bothered? No, we're just going to run straight past. Okay, the bell's ringing. Everyone's running. Here they come. So I'm wondering if they're going to run... Do you know what? I think I know where they're going. They're going to come to my storage. Yep, there we go. So you're going for the trading post. And this doesn't cover the trading post. There we go. This place here. Where is this guy going? We don't know. But he's not going to get there. Okay, that's fine. What? They've taken all my gold that was in there. The scumbags. No. No. All my trading gold. Well, this guy's going to run up here. And, yeah, he's not going to survive. Neither does this one. Neither does these ones. Bad day to get food poisoning. I don't think they're going to be building anything while this is on. So I'm going to turn that off. Oh, man, what are they doing here? The market. No. Oh, they've gone. They've run off. Are the people... Are they chasing the people now instead? Or are they just leaving? I think. So that's one there's leaving. I think that might be it. Village was raided. So I'll click on this. Okay, nine removed. No villagers, no buildings. Items pillaged, none. Yeah, that's not right. Because they actually took... Yeah, they actually took all the gold out of here. So we need to make sure... Oh, man alive. We've got 84 out of 100. We need to make sure that we have got the right amount of protection around the place. Now, to repair this health, is there something we need to do or will it just get automatically done? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. I'm betting it's going to just get automatically upgraded, so we're going to see. But we seriously need protection around our village, which is... Oh, you're cured. Well done. Which is something that we're very, very short on. So, okay. We know they're going to appear down here and come in this way. And they came in through the path. So, what other defences have we got? So, we've got, like, the barracks, which we could actually afford now. And it costs us 10 a month. And what are we making a month? 24. I think, actually, we'll go for that first. And we know they're going to come in this way at some point. They're obviously going to come in from other directions as well. But it's also got this big protective thing around it. Do you know what? I'm going to put it in this little corner spot here. So it covers these two roads. So I'm going to go like that. There we go. We'll get that done. And then we might sort of change how some of these roads are set up. Or oh, we light on wood again. Yeah, let's see how that goes. So how are you doing over here? Your range, you know, you've got some wood in there you can get. Uh, this one up here, not so much wood. Let's change your area maybe to there. There we go. Oh, we've got the forager finished over here. It's actually got a good area already at the moment. Let's try and get as much of this in as possible. There we go, which is good. And I'm going to add, can I add another... No, I can't. Okay, but anyway, this area's got excellent eggs, excellent greens, excellent berries. A lot of excellent food coming in there. I think there's another forager around here. Yeah, over here. So that's got excellent greens and excellent berries. So that's taking in all of this. We'll keep going. We're doing all right. And I'm wondering whether... 
because we've got all this water down here, we could just go for more fishes. How much food do they give us? So 144 in the last year. I think as we've got all of this down here, we should go really all out on the fishing. Foragers, fishing shacks. And just get an absolute ton down here, but without messing up any of the other things we've got going here. Yeah, we'll get those three in there. Um, and then we're going to do another temporary house near those. Excellent, excellent. How's our barracks going? Let's speed this along a little bit. So I'm just wondering what other defences we've got. We've obviously got walls and stuff. Uh, here we've got fortified wall, fortified gate. Palisade walls are basically made out of wood that we're really short of. Palisade gate, cobbled road to travel fast with a bigger bonus than dirt roads. So, for instance, if we took that and upgrade it, upgrade cost 25. And we've only got 78 stone. So, stone is, like, really in short supply. So, maybe let's do that and, and get our wood going again. And then we can start heading up to, you know, upgrading some things. I'm sort of assuming that the stone replenishes itself after a while. We've got a lot of stone up here. So what I'm going to do, when I, when I said stone mine, I meant uh, stone mill, I meant mine, some, something like that. If I do this, um, yeah, we'll just sort of place it in the middle of that, like so. And then we'll get a, a road. Are going to let me do that? Just sort of come straight. Oh, there's stone there. Look, I don't want to destroy that. If we go straight down there, like so. And we're going to... We don't prioritise it because we're doing okay. <laughs> so much firewood. All you're doing is using my fire, uh, wood to make firewood all the time. And I've also got my eyes on all of these trees over here. And I just want to get another work camp over here to be getting all of these trees. So if we actually take a path into here first. There we go. And then we'll put a work camp... Yeah, that's a work camp up against these without destroying the trees if possible. There we go. Then they can start bringing stuff in. And yeah, hopefully that will be okay. Right, so let's have a look around what we've got going on here. Missing melee weapon. Spoiled food. Spoiled foods. No stones in range of this work camp. Yeah, so they do come back. But it doesn't always show that. Which is good. So that's worth remembering. I'm just going to move that over there. There we go. And over by this one, I think I would like a house as well. So housing. We're just going to get a normal shelter in here. So what I would like to try and work to as well is unlocking tier 3 buildings. Um, there is some stuff we need to do with that. So we need... 25 homesteads? What? What the heck's a homestead? Um, um what? <laughs> I thought it was just houses. Uh, housing. So we've got shelters and temporary shelters. I'm not sure what that is. A school, which we can do. Trading post, we've got 125 population we're getting there. Cost us wood planks, clay, and gold. So we could work our way to all of those. What is a homestead? Oh, I'm looking through here, and I don't think we've actually built a granary to store all of our grain and stuff. Ah, oh, which is possibly why we've been getting some messages about items being stored by pests and things like that, because if it's just being stored normally... Uh, let's pop that there. There we go. Then it's just going to be taken out of our root cellar or whatever. That's not going to help, is it? Darn it. Okay. Still looking for the homesteads. Oh, yeah. We can upgrade our houses. Six wooden planks to upgrade, but it needs a town center tier two we've got, a basic well we've got, location desirability bonus, 6% out of 30%. Wow. Two food types and some herbs. Oh, my goodness. So I don't know whether any of these can automatically upgrade or not. Most of them, it's the desirability bonus. Um, so, shall we see what that is? That's fertility, desirability. 21, 25, 17, 19. What is going to beef up the desirability of these? Well, we've got this little square here. Let's see if we can find out. Uh, we'll go for decorations. 
Medium plaza, small park, large park. Cons uh, considerable desirability bonus. That's 500. 150. We've got four. Four? Where's it all gone? Oh, has it all been moved into here? Because I've got that set to move it all into there. No. What are we spending it on? Taxes 27. Services minus four. Soldier training. All right. We'll come back to the desirability. This has been built. Right, okay. So I'm not sort of seeing all the information here. So I don't know quite what's going to happen. Recruitment costs 50. Whether this is automatically going to just start recruiting or what. But wow. That has taken a heck of a lot of our things. So plazas don't actually give much of a desirability. Um, which we've used before. Oh, man. That is just so bad. That is just so bad. We're going to have to just go with the... Uh, that, even that's 20. What's, like, the cheapest? A birch tree. <laughs> I can plant, like, four trees. And then that's it. Maybe we just need to wait until we get more gold coming in. Oh, little symbol I've not seen before. We've got compost ready to be spread on the fields. So is that, like, an automatic thing that it will do? I'm assuming when it comes to this one here, uh, which is for maintenance, growing crops, reduce weeds, remove rocks. It doesn't say, but I'm hoping it's like an automatic thing and I, I'm not missing something there. If at any point you think I'm missing something, always let me know um, because I'm learning here as well. So excellent. All right, let's check how things are going along down here. Yeah, we've got all these lined up. Good. So let us... Just change you to there. There we go. And then this one we're going to change to here. And then this one we're going to change to... Just get it out there. Excellent. So you're fishing right on the coast. That's fine. You keep on going. That's no problem for us. I'm just wondering whether we need this thing going. Because it's like... Oh, it's just costing us. Oh, 28. We're actually losing. Yeah, we can't do this. We cannot afford this thing. So I'm going to turn that off. Soldier training is still 24. I'm hoping turning that off has stopped it. Because we are losing gold, which is not good. Uh, this is not making gold for us at all. Because we're not getting any of these beer items in there. So that's going to turn off as well. Uh, there's absolutely no point. Oh, man, it's like things are suddenly becoming... You stop production. Why is that? I don't know. You probably don't have what you need. Things are getting built over here. So you are collecting stone. That's all we want you to collect. There's only a few trees around there. Ooh, okay. So we've got enough planks, I think, for... Let's just turn these guys off. There we go. We've got enough planks to upgrade our houses when they can. And I know this up here is an automatic building upgrade, which is enabled, so we can actually turn that off. So that would upgrade our houses automatically. I'm going to turn it off because I want to see if ever a symbol comes up with, yeah, you know, you've got the ability to upgrade. Now, what is, which is the most desirable house? Oh, they've gone down, haven't they? Have I done something to make them go down? This probably doesn't help. <laughs> this, here, this right here. 20, 21, 21. I think 21. 22. There we go. That's the highest. 22 out of 30. So could we do something there? We now have no gold. Okay. I was going to plant some trees or do something. But we can't. Oh, man. No. What? No, we have a fire. No. Please. This poor person's house. Run, grab the water. They're all running in. Where, where's... Oh, they've done it. Okay, fine. And there's four buckets of water spare. Well, that is pretty good. Right, so we need to work out what is costing us the money. I just think it's that soldier training. We just can't afford it. I've turned it off and it's still doing it. I think we're going to have to salvage the building and just... Let me just quickly check. There's not a way in here to turn the building off. Not that I can see. I just think we're going to have to salvage the building. It's a shame that turning this off doesn't stop the money. So we're going to salvage the building. 
and we're going to have to just hope that what we've got uh, helps us, which does mean that what I'm going to do instead is pop some more towers in. So we know they're going to come through here. I'm going to pop a tower right on the end there at that crossroads. We've got this one covering here. We've got this one covering here. We've got that one covering there. So they can still sneak in, but once they get into this area, I think we'll be okay. And they only seem to go after things that have got valuables in. So hopefully, I'm going to prioritize that. Is that not taking it anymore? It's still taking the money. Oh man, illnesses. Right, we've got some gold. So I want to just plant some trees. So this is 22 desirability, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's see whether planting birch trees, small shrubs, gives a bonus, costs five. See, none of these say they give a bonus, but I want to see. There we go. The tree is done. What a beautiful specimen. <laughs> specimen. Specimen of tree. Still 22%. So basically, no. It is things like this. Medium plazas, small parks. So what is the cheapest? Another plaza for 20 so if we pop that, that'll be 40 gold in there and see whether that helps. We can always get it back if we want to. We can salvage. I don't think there is a downside. Oh, upgrade bricks. We don't have bricks. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is good. Okay, excellent. Uh, what other defenses are there that we could maybe... Uh, walls and roads. Year 11. So we've got the walls and then we've got these. So having a wall around these would be good. But at the minute, wood is hard to come by. So maybe not something we want to do. So we just want to get these things done. Oh, 73 gold. We've had new taxes collected. Yay! So that plaza's been done. So now that's 23. <laughs> this ain't going to get up to 30 anytime soon. So we're going to have to try and think about... Oh, we've got the one next to it. It's 24 over here. Look. So maybe when that is built, it will kick it up a bit. But yeah, there's some stuff here that I think we're going to have to just relocate some of these things. Wagon shop, basket shop, tannery, and compost yard are the worst ones. But let's move those couple and see. We might move the tannery as well. As the plant plaza is looking good. 24, 26. So we're literally 4% away and unless we sort of upgrade, like, these bits in here, which cost 15 gold and some bricks. Oh, there's traders. Then we're going to struggle. Right, let's, let me have a quick look through here and see what's going on. We've got Beldar the Peddler. Welcome back. Oh, do you know what? This is just so... No, we just can't afford it. We really just can't afford it. I'm going to take 35, and we just can't afford to trade for anything in a minute. So we're going to have to just keep going with what we've got. Yeah, and it'll have to do for now. I don't think we're going to be upgrading to tier three anytime soon. The school might be able to be built. Um, that might be able to help. So that cost 100 gold and 25 clay, which we've got. Plenty of planks. So we could pop that in. Does that like give a desirability bonus or anything like that? Just a boost to education and things. So... Oh, it seems to, like, give a bit of a boost to the houses. Or is that, like, a whoever's within the radius can attend this school sort of bonus? It might be that. I think this is probably, like, the nearest slot we've got there. We'll pop that in and see how it goes. We've got even less gold now. So what I'm going to do, actually, can I, like, transfer that gold back again? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do that, and we're going to use as much gold as we can to get this school up and see whether that helps. So I think another thing that we could do with doing is adding more farms. We've been doing a lot on the old fishing. Oh, I think that was an auto save. Have a quick sip of tea. So a lot on the fishing. We've had our farms that have been doing a lot for us for a while. I think more farms would be good. We've got a lot of fertility in this area here, which we can take advantage of, even just down here. So let us put in some farms. Now, I'm not sure on the size of the farms within how many people have to work them. So like this five by five, assigned workers one of one. Okay, it does say that. 
So if I just go for like a double size farm, although the smaller farms are good because you get the crop rotation. Okay, let's try this. A 10 by 10 is going to need sort of maneuvering some of the roads and stuff. Uh, I'm going to prioritize that. And then we'll, we'll fence it all off as well so we don't get any cheeky blighters coming in and stealing all of our food and such. Oh, yeah, eight more people. Excellent. Yeah, we'll take those. What are we up to? 101. Excellent. And our food stocks are really low. <laughs> I know. I know. But, yeah. Hopefully this farm, you know, will start helping us. But, yeah, the fishing hasn't helped as much as I thought it would do, I'll be honest. I thought that was going to give us, like, a real boost. But because we haven't found any more areas which are like... Hey, these have got extra uh, bonuses and things like that. We've been sort of struggling. So, yeah. We'll see how this goes once it's once it's built. So, what is this waiting for? Planks and gold. We're probably going to end up with another... What have we got? 204. We'll end up with another end of year sort of thingy coming on. So, we'll get a load of more taxes, which will be helpful. Am I right in thinking that these blueberry bushes... Yes, please. Oh, I keep accepting people. I should really stop, shouldn't I? That these blueberry bushes don't actually... Now they've been moved, never get blueberries on them? Or am I missing that? I don't know. Uh, can I add extra people onto any of these things? Forager, we want you filled up. Uh, firewood splitter, yeah, go on then. Miner, we might as well. So we can't go beyond what it's set for. Basket maker. Oh, man, I didn't realise. We've got 33 labourers. We are not taking in any more people, folks. This is like... This is it. Uh, this road... Oh, wow. Well, that is just like one lot. Can't we cut that road somehow? So, like, I only want to remove a bit of this road. So if I went like that and get that in... Can I just cut that road then and just move this bit? That would be helpful if possible. Okay, the road's connected to here. And if we click that, it still counts it as one long big road. Which is a real pain. But as it's only this little corner, I might just put a little gate in there and see how it goes. Yeah, let's do that in fact while I think of it. So, impending blizzard. Nah, we'll be fine. Fence gates there. And hope that corner sort of works okay we might pop in can i change that for a fence gate over this side as well just so they can get in there as well yeah we'll see how that goes yeah we're gonna add another firewood splitter and we're gonna pop you um over somewhere where we're getting all the woods we're getting wood from up here aren't we let's just i don't want it too far away but let's just pop it here it's a little bit out of town but hopefully that will be good and help we shall see. Well, I think we need to start thinking about a, like an extra little town centre. Oh, we've got the school. Look at that. Fantastic. The school is in. We have a teacher teaching students, which is really good. Yeah, I know food stocks are low. Don't know why about it. It's fine. So has that changed the desirability? Do you know what? I think it has. 26, 34, 28, 27. That has pushed the desirability up, even though it didn't mention it on the menu on the thing so it's automatically been upgraded to a homestead because i had that on i thought i turned that off <laughs> but there we go so what is the difference with a homestead so this is the house the shelter it looks a bit sturdier 100 400 out of 400 500 out of 500 health still four occupancy okay maybe a bigger storage hard to tell uh, basic needs, so I think what would be the next one? Upgrade to a oh, additional housing capacity, happiest desirability, increased desirability. Okay. So I want to see if a little thing's going to pop up and tell us uh, when they can be upgraded. But that is great. So one homestead. Oh, did we get any more? We can check on here, can't we? What did we get? One homestead. That is what we got. Excellent. Oh, well, there we go. The school works. Brilliant. Year number 12. We're not doing too shabbily, are we? That is good. I just want to get this thing finished, if at all possible. Man, we are living life on the edge. We only have two months. Oh, we've got our yearly taxes. Have we? We've only got three gold. Uh, two months of food stored, and one month is going to spoil. One month of food stored. Oh, man. 
collected over the last year. 325 ingots. Okay. Well, I can't see them in my thing yet. I'm assuming that's going to be updated. Soldier training minus 24. What? We're not training soldiers. Please tell me you're not still taking money for that. Because if you are, I would be very, very unhappy. Where did all my gold go? You said you... Oh, traders. Is this two traders? <gasps> Can we do the trick? Can we do the trader trick? We have two traders. Okay. Trader one. Trader two. Beldar the Peddler is back. Atka of the Iron Clan. Right. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah, unfortunately, nothing uh, that I can do the cheeky trading thing like before. Buying from one, selling to the other, which I showed in the last video, made us a ton of gold. And of course, that extra gold that we probably had from our taxes went straight into the school, I bet, didn't it? However much that cost. So, yeah, man, food is getting dire. We really need to get this finished, guys. I don't think we're going to be able to plant anything in it this year. It's a shame because one of these traders was actually trading some heavy tools, which I'm wondering whether we could have actually bought that to get our this thing over here going, our windmill, which needs a heavy tool. So that's a real bummer. We've got our granary storing a lot of stuff, which is good. Plenty of storage capacity there. So I'm wondering whether we could change some of these other ones out to take out the wheat because... We just don't need it. I'm going to just put some other things in. Beans, carrots, whatever we can fit in here. There we go. Oh, we've got wheat on that one as well. Let's delete that. Got wheat in this one. Oh, my life. We'll come back to wheat at some point. Oh, that fits in well nicely. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. I really need to look at these a bit better so we get better things for frost and stuff like that. But at the moment, I'm just sort of winging it. <laughs> Which is probably why I'm running out of food. Oh yeah, we can see on these homesteads, can't we? Look, they've sort of got a nice little roof on there as well. I've got an upstairs floor. They look really nice, don't they? Yeah, I like those. Villagers feeling worse. That's taking a turn for the worse. Typhoid has progressed to pneumonia. Kara, I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, we've got no healing places to help you with that. So, yeah, not quite sure what we're going to do. Maybe you can get out and work in the fields, help you feel a little bit better. No, not not your sort of thing. All right, fair enough. Oh, Carver's been killed. Look at that. Well done. <laughs> well done. Oh, just that threat of work suddenly made her feel even better. Oh, 20 villagers graduated. So let's just have a read of this. Now have a basic education. So Elsa, if we have a look here. So what's that diet, warmth? Happiness. Oh, is there something with the happiness? Shoes, clothes, luxury, food, health, family, beer. Beer? She's like 10. Entertainment, shelter, cleanliness, desirability. So that's, yeah. Oh, cleanliness. So basically, our lives are hanging in the balance. We're waiting for this field to be finished. Hopefully, we can get enough food to keep our 110 citizens uh, alive and hopefully we don't get attacked by any more raiders and steal all our gold well we'll find out in the next episode so subscribe so you don't miss out on that one check out the other video on the screen as well and i'll see you all very soon take care bye bye